Episode four of MILF Manor. And based off the thumbnail for this episode, looks like things are about to heat up. Let's hop into it. How cute is it that April J and Joey, the oldest person and the youngest person in the house, have this love connection going on? Cute might not be the way that I would describe it. Ryan keeps trying to like hit on Stephanie and stuff. Come on. That's so true. Like when Dance. you- Okay. I know they're all 50 years old, but hitting this dance move, I don't think is the way to relate to him. And honest to God, someone help this man out with the wardrobe. So far, who are the ladies that you're interested in getting to know better? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but a lot of the times you see people having these conversations, they set them up and they say, hey, go sit here and talk about this, which they've only known each other for like four days. So they're gonna do something along the lines of, who are you looking at? Who are you interested in? Your mom is one of the ladies that I think that she is the most interesting and yeah. elegant. Your fucking mom, bro. How about that? At least Jose is upfront about this. Incredible television. I think Jose has a relevant shot with my mom. Seems very genuine and daring. So that's definitely my mom's style. So as it was teased in one of the last episodes, one of these mother-son duos is gonna be going home. Now for the bad news. Oh. There is one mother and son going home. <gasps> oh. My assumption is that it's going to be the two of them that we haven't really seen on TV. So what they're having the contestants do now is five minutes speed dating with all the people in the house they want to know a little bit more about. They said it's not about looks, because clearly love is blind works for that. But the problem is you have to rate these people one to ten on the amount of chemistry you think the two you have. And knowing how ridiculous this show is, I'm sure the numbers are gonna be revealed. For the next hour, everyone in the house should take five minutes getting to know anyone they're unsure about. This has nothing to do with looks, but uh, I'm very romantic and everything. What about in the bedroom? Uh... This lady does not lay off of bedroom talk. Every single episode, she has said something about someone in the sack, how they are in the bedroom. I don't know if this is just her saying this or producers are telling her. Every episode. Are you good in bed? It's like your signature move. Do you have one? This isn't fucking Super Smash Bros. A signature move? You have like a signature move? He's like, yeah, for sure. L1, R1, double up X, bitch. I charmed in. What gets you going? Is it the boobs? I mean, could that be? Are you a butt man? What kind of gets you going? Is it boobs? Is it the, is it, you know, the butt? Is it just emo music? Just let me know. Let me know. I'm a really good kisser. I had a lot of practice in high school. That I was a above the waist kind of gal. I still am. I was called the queen of blue balls. Who brags about that? And also, what's with all these people on the show talking about how good of kissers they are? So I've been told I'm a very good kisser. Oh yeah, me? Really good kisser. You know how many guys I gave blue balls in high school? More than you, bro. More than you. I've been ready to go out into the deep end. Like, does anybody know how to swim here or what? I think all these people know how to swim. I just think you're expecting Michael fucking Phelps. What's the first thing that like you might be attracted to? Like eyes or a smile? Being honest, mm -hmm. your feet. Everybody on this show has mentioned feet now too. Where do they pull these people from? Feetfinder.com? Will you pull a Jimmy? Sorry? Would you ever pull a Jimmy? A Jimmy? I got pink guy from ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's just out of my comfort zone. What is I up with no one wanting to be a Jimmy? I didn't even know if I was going to include the first clip, but now that she's asked a second time, I think I have to. This woman is dying for someone to lick her butthole. Would I ever do the Jimmy to her? I didn't know she was coming on like that with you. She did it to everyone. What? As expected, Paula and Jose won the chemistry test. Now let's see who the fuck they kick off the show. No. April and Ricky. Oh. Really? Unfortunately, the connection is not quite there and it's time for you to leave the villa. I'd hate to say I didn't see that coming, but in the first three episodes, we hardly saw them whatsoever. And throughout that, one of them didn't want to talk to anybody about anything. And the other one wanted their butthole licked. So the tribe has spoken. I think I got a low score because I came off very reserved. I've seen a lot of exit speeches throughout the years with reality TV. But for the very first time, I've seen someone now put in a retainer before their exit speech. She does have great teeth though. Probably a little bit of pressure starting to build up in the house. Not just sexually, as a few of them have mentioned. Are you good in bed? 
but in terms of they don't know when the next person's gonna go home. As the episode goes on, Jose starts to develop new feelings, and it's very obvious that she likes him as well. But our boy Gabriel has a studded anklet on and whips out another sig because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Because it wasn't too interesting, I'm gonna give you a spark note of what happens in the next part here. Ryan goes up to Stephanie, basically says, hey, cut the shit, cut him off or cut me off, do something. Stephanie plays into the whole, oh, I don't want to hurt either one of you. And then Ryan, out of left field, goes, hey, do you want to see the sunset at 5 o'clock in the morning? He says yes. He then says, if you're not up at 5 o'clock in the morning, you can't see Gabriel for an entire 24 hours. I get what he's trying to do, but you guys have known each other for five fucking days. What's poor Gabriel gonna do? I know some people might respect the fact of like, hey, you know, if this guy likes me, he's gonna say it. Stephanie's a little bit put off. Meanwhile, while all the drama's going on, Disco Mommy and Billy are getting down and dirty in the hot tub. And the whole point of this show is for these people to find true love. At least that's what I thought. I'm really hoping that I get to see if his size of his is real big. This hot tub is freezing and... Unfortunately, this hot tub's really cold right now. So remember how I told her I have a huge dick? Well, I can't really show her if it's all shriveled up in 45 degree water. We're gonna head back to my room. My mom might be there, but at least Disco Mommy's gonna know what I'm working with. They are just moving around like nobody's business. Let's go in this hot tub. Let's go in this hot tub. Let's go in the sauna. Let me see that big dick. What they doing in there? <laughs> and where? In your room. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go in there. No, 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 no you no, can't. No. And we finally get our first real mom moment of the season. Big Wiener and Disco Mommy are hooking up in the sauna, and here comes Stephanie to ruin the party. Kelly, you gotta go. We just got here. Want some bit? No. Whether she likes it or not, Billy and I are turning up the heat tonight. We're sleeping in the same bed, and she needs to stop fucking him. Hey, your son has a huge wiener, and I'm gonna get to the fucking bottom of it. Let's see how this goes. Billy's sleeping in Billy's bed. I'm sleeping in your bed. Brian said, let's make a bet. He says, if you don't wake up, Gabriel could not be around you for 24 hours. No, you're gonna be comfy in bed with me. You're not gonna I'm wake fine. up at five. <laughs> Stephanie told fucking Gabriel. No way. I was just about to make fun of the fact that she's going to crawl out of bed at 4.55 to go see Ryan. But it looks like it's not the case. Come here, daddy. Come over here. I don't want to be an overbearing mom. You're being a little bit too overproductive. I don't think she is. I think the whole situation's fucking weird. Just give these people their own rooms for God's sake. No mother wants to be in a room while Big Wiener's getting grabbed. Especially while it probably smells like cigarettes next to her. I'm Excuse me? To be controlling over a woman is really, really weird. Turn off your fucking alarm. <laughs> Long story short, everybody left the room because Kelly was snoring too loud. Stephanie didn't wake up, and now Ryan's pissed off. My musicians are mock. No. It just got real. And they add yet another twist. Two new people join the villa. Are they gonna stir up some of these relationships or are they strong enough already? I don't know, but we're sure as hell gonna find out. You guys wanna be around for the next episode, just make sure to subscribe. You can leave a like in the video as well, it helps me out a ton. We'll see you guys next time.